Thanks very much, Kirk. Good morning, everyone. The wait is over for thousands of public servants anxious to learn the government's budget plans. There's word as many as 30,000 jobs could be on the chopping block. We'll find out today. Reporter Melissa Lamb is live with more on what's expected in Finance Minister Jim Flaherty's budget. Melissa, good morning. Good morning, Annette. Well, we've been hearing a lot about possible cuts for the federal public service, and now reports are saying the government will ask Canadians to push back their retirement. Yesterday, Finance Minister Jim Flaherty stuck with tradition as he picked out his new budget shoes at Aldo in the Rideau Centre. Today, though, he will deliver the government's economic plan. Some reports are saying they will delay old age security benefits until age 67. Other possible changes, streamlining approvals for big projects such as pipelines and mines. Reports say the government is looking to cut around $5 billion in spending, but one analyst says things aren't as bad as they seem. Then when you look at the revenue and expenditure side, they're well, they're doing way ahead of forecast. That is to say, their revenues are running well ahead of forecast. Their expenditures are well, running below forecast, which means they have a lot more cash, which means the deficit is a lot smaller. Now, some reports are also suggesting that changes will be made to the way Ottawa funds research and development. Annette? All right, Melissa, thanks. No one was hurt after an early morning garage fire in Nepean. Firefighters arrived at a row house on Bertona Street just after 5. Flames were quickly put out and the fire didn't spread to the home this morning. Investigators are now trying to find out what started the fire. Well, you'll have to dig deep in your pockets this morning to pay for gas. The price of the pump went up overnight. Prices jumped by at least three cents a litre overnight. And now the average price for a litre of gas in Ottawa is hovering around $1.32. That's about seven cents higher than what we were paying at this time last year. Construction season is just getting started in the capital and it means traffic tie-ups in Ottawa's West End. Starting today, there will be lane reductions on the Heron Bridge. Heron Road will be reduced from six lanes to four the bridge for the rest of the year. The project is part of the city's ongoing bridge maintenance program and is expected to be completed by the summer of 2013. Well, the fight for ice time in Ottawa's East End could soon be over. There are plans for a new hockey arena that could be built with the help of the private sector. The City of Ottawa wants to build a new two-pad arena on Shefford Road in Beacon Hill. It would cost about $28 million, but city staff say there just isn't enough money for that. So now they're looking into a public-private partnership to fund the facility. It's hoped the new arena will be ready for the fall of 2013. An orange tie that symbolizes the rise of the federal New Democrats has been passed on to the party's new leader. It's the tie that Jack Layton wore on the night he became leader of the party back in 2003. Layton's son Mike passed the tie on to Thomas Mulcair just after his leadership win last weekend. Mulcair says he will treasure the memento and is waiting for the right moment to wear it. Well, it was a search for coins and candy after a Brinks truck crashed in northern Ontario, causing another truck to spill its load of candy. It happened early yesterday north of Kirkland Lake. Two men were seriously injured when the Brinks truck collided with a rock on the Trans-Canada Highway. It started a chain reaction, causing other trucks to crash, including one with all the candy inside. Up to $5 million worth of loonies and toonies ended up scattered onto the road and in the surrounding bush.